Consequently, void marriages can be questioned even after the death of either party. But voidable marriages can be assailed only during the lifetime of the parties and, this, and not after death of either, in which case the parties and their offspring will be left as if the marriage had been perfectly valid. That is why the action or defense for nullity is imprescriptible, unlike voidable marriages where the action prescribes. Only the parties to a voidable marriage can assail it but any proper interested party may attack a void marriage. It was emphasized in Nial that in a void marriage, no marriage has taken place and it cannot be the source of right, such that any interested party may attack the marriage directly or collaterally without prescription, which may be filed even beyond the lifetime of the parties to the marriage. The child to a common law union whose successional rights would be prejudiced by her father's marriage to another may impugn the existence of such marriage even after the death of her father. The said marriage may be questioned directly by filing an action attacking the validity thereof or collaterally by raising it as an issue in a proceeding for the settlement of the estate of the deceased spouse such as in the case at bar. In a lucky Elise is a compulsory heir has a cause of action for the declaration of the absolute nullity of the void marriage of Eliseo and Amelia. And the death of either par party to the said marriage does not extinguish such cause of action. The law governing the validity of marriage impacts on the right of the heirs to lay a claim in the settlement of the estate. Let us cite the case of Isidro Ablaza v. Republic, August 11, 2010. Whether a person may bring an action for the declaration of the absolute nullity of the marriage of his deceased brother, solemnized under the regime of the old civil code, is the legal issue to be determined in Ablaza v. Republic. In the appeal brought by the petitioner, whose action for the purpose has been dismissed by the lower courts, on the ground that he, not being a party in the assailed marriage, had no right to bring the action. The validity of a marriage is tested at the time the law enforced the marriage is contracted.